Hi guys, Dane here. Today I am chilling in my dressing gown because why not? And today I'm going to be taking the book postscript tag. So this was created by Memento Mori and I was tagged to do this by Charles Heathcote. There are 10 questions. I have some books for a few of them and we'll just go through it. So question one. Oh, by the way, I should point out this is supposed to be taken near the end of last year, I think. So this is all relating back to 2018. But as always, I am on point and on trend and not late at all with a video. So question one, the longest book you read this year and the book that took you the longest to finish. So for me, those are both the same book and that is The Talisman by Stephen King and Peter Straub. So actually I suppose this is the late, the longest one, the longest one in terms of pages and then Black House, which is the sequel to this, was the one that took me the longest to read. But either way, they both took a fair old, you know, chunk. I think this took me a week and Black House took me two weeks. How many pages have we got? Uh, 766 pages and yeah it's like an epic fantasy it's kind of Tolkien's take on Lord of the Rings almost and uh, it's like a portal fantasy where you go between the two different worlds you have twinners so characters have like their equivalent character in the other world and yeah it, the talisman was pretty good I thought I mean it wasn't amazing it didn't blow my mind but it was pretty good and then Black House just wasn't for me I guess Question number two, a book you read in 2018 that was outside of your comfort zone. So for me, I have picked out Babies by Anne Enright. So this is one of the uh, vintage mini moderns and uh, I'll read you the blurb, I guess. Babies, our biggest mystery and our most natural consequence, our hardest test and our enduring love. Anne Enright describes the intensity, bewilderment, and extravagant happiness of her, her experience of having babies, from the exhaustion of early pregnancy to first smiles and becoming acquainted with the long reaches of the night. Everyone, from parents to the mildly curious, can delight in Enright's funny, eloquent, and unsentimental account of having babies. So this is an excerpt from a fuller book called Making Babies. And yeah, it was really interesting. I mean, I think because it was written with such honesty about because it's literally about you know a lot of the physical sensations for example of being pregnant which obviously I I'm never going to experience I mean I don't have kids anyway so I probably wouldn't have if I was a lady but um yeah just interesting really question number three how many books did you reread in 2018 so for me that was 12 uh, but two of those were the highway code so I reread that twice and I still need to keep rereading it really because I'm learning to drive. But the other 10, I did Catalyst Reads Rereadathon from January to October. And then I fell behind a little bit. So I didn't read The God Delusion, which was my reread for November, although I have since started it. And then The Stand, which I was going to reread in December. So yeah, I'm just trying to reread. I'm going to finish off those rereads and then just reread what I want, I think. Well, I might take part in the next rereadathon as well. We'll see. Question number four, favorite reread of 2018. So for me, it was Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. And the reason this was my favorite reread is because this is one of my favorite books. It's what I always cite when people ask what my favorite book is. And it's just always a joy. And I did it via audiobook as well. It was read by Philip Pullman himself. And yeah, it was just excellent. Question number five, a book you read for the first time in 2018 that you look forward to rereading in the future. So for me, this is going to be The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, and this was my favourite book of last year, and I am actually planning on rereading this in this year's rereadathon if I get to it. Notice I'm trying to stand like this so that the light behind me isn't shining in your eyes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Handmaid's Tale. Question number six, favourite single short story or novella that you read in 2018? So for me... I can't pick any specific short story, but my favourite collection was Dragons at Crumbling Castle by Terry Pratchett. And these are all stories that he read during his youth. He was like a junior reporter for the Books Free Press, which is the local newspaper to me. And these were all kind of written during his teens and then re-released recently. And some of them are just like, some of them are even prefaces to The Carpet People, which went on to become one of his first novels that he wrote. So there's quite a lot of stuff here for a Pratchett aficionado, but also if you're new to his work, I mean, it's just like middle grade, humorous, fantasy goodness. Question number seven, Mass Appeal, a book you liked and would recommend to a wide variety of readers. So for me, that was R. Doris by Charles Heathcote. He's also here on BookTube. If you watch any of his wool gathering videos, you'll get a sense of his, you know, sense of humor and whether you find what he finds funny or not, I guess. And then that that's kind of important because he puts so much of himself into this book that it, you know, you almost read it in his voice. I really enjoyed this one. I also enjoyed Indisputably Doris, which was the second one. And uh, yeah, would totally recommend 
reading Ardoris, no matter you know where you're from, basically. But it does have a British sense of humour. But don't let that put you off because you know Todd the librarian liked it anyway. <laughs> Question number nine: Specialised appeal, a book you liked but would be hesitant to recommend to just anyone. So for me, that would be Bad Sandwich by Ollie Jacobs, and that's because. It's really deliberately written in quite a psychedelic way. You can even see on the pages, there's like different text sizes. It's uh, almost like visual poetry. Also, also, it's kind of fiction, but in a really weird way. Like, there's not really a storyline, but there kind of is this idea of this bad sandwich that he ate and it went all a bit weird. So, this is for you if you like kind of experimental reads, but if you're just more into maybe genre fiction or something like that, it's probably not the best one for you to pick up. Question nine, reflect on your year as a bookish content creator. Goals met, good slash bad memories, favorite videos you made, etc. So for me, I think the highlight was going to Latvia. I was invited to Latvia to basically get to know the Latvian literature scene. I did a bunch of videos on it, read some books and reviewed some books, met a bunch of the authors and stuff. I'll link to a playlist below where you can check out some more on that. Uh, probably the, the low light was just falling behind with stuff in about October, November-ish when I went on holiday and had life circumstances change and all this stuff. So uh, I fell behind then and I've kind of been catching up lately. I'm hoping that by the end of January I'll be pretty much caught up and I can get back to, you know, being a part of the community a bit more. And probably my favourite video that I did was probably the punk rock tag, so I'll link to that below as well when I dressed up as a punk. Question number 10, tag some fellow bookish content creators. Well, as this is kind of a retrospective e-tag, I feel like most people will already have done it. I know that's a bit of a cop out. I'll tag some people anyway, I guess. I'll tag Todd the Librarian, uh, Graham Quigley, and, uh, and Mara from Books Like Woe, I guess. If you, you don't have to do it. Like I said, it's a bit late, but I don't know. I like tagging people because it's like shouting out to them. Anyway, on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, whether you agree with my answers, whether you've read any of the books, etc, etc. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.